So today I'm going to do a uh, kind of a product review of the FLIR VP50. It's a uh, basically a non-contact voltage detector. Uh, comes in a pretty nice nice package. Um, yeah, nice little package. Here's what you get. Um, what kind of sets this apart from the other non non-contact voltage detectors is that this has a pretty nice little flashlight on it. So I mean, as you can see, it lights up pretty good. If you're down up under here. Ooh. So does a pretty good little job. And then not only do you have that, but the actual tip of it. When are you turn it on? You just push it down for two seconds, and that puts it on the regular mode. I had kind of an issue with this, and it was way too sensitive. Um, I felt that it was it was way too sensitive. I called FLIR, and FLIR said that it may be a too sensitive unit. But uh, as you can tell now, it's in the the green mode, which is the normal normal mode. That's for picking up. Let's see how these are. Should have power to them. So that's good. But here's where I was kind of having an issue. Is that like let's say this one. Okay, so this is picking up on the left side and the right side. I would like to know which one is the, the neutral one. Huh, now it's working. This has just a little vibrating motor. <laughs> so it's working now. I couldn't get it to do it a while ago. But anyways, um, so you have two wires coming in. You want to know which one's hot, um, or if they're if they're hot at all. So you put it on the right hand side, and you see that it's it's going off. You put it on the left hand side, and it's and it's not going off. That's that's good. Um, what what I did before I had called them is that I say that we have, you know. Um, five wires and it was going off like right here and I couldn't detect which one of course all of them had had power but let's say I unplugged this one and I left it in here I couldn't decipher which one was unplugged even though I knew it was this one um, in an actual situation that's that wasn't very good and then if you push and hold you turn it off, push and hold, turns it on. If you want it to be extra sensitive, push it again. It goes into this red, orange light diode thing. But as you can see, I'm, I'm not anywhere close to this. And it's going off. Like, that's ridiculous. That's not going to do any good for anybody. And it's not picking up the battery in the uh, in the detector. See? I'm touching the battery. I'm touching the battery in the camera, so it's not that. But that's what I thought was way too sensitive. Um, but anyways, you push it again, and it goes back to the regular mode. So... I figured this was this would be good. Just to double check. But so anyways, um uh, since they sent me another one and this was through Amazon, I think it was uh forty bucks. No, thirty thirty four dollars or something like that. With shipping.
So here's a new one that they sent me. This is how it comes. But that's packaged. It comes with the uh, two AA batteries. Energizer, too. You don't get some cheap, heavy-duty battery. You get an actual good battery. So if I remember right, there are instructions in here. Oops. And that's basically a brief opening and all kinds of other stuff. So put the batteries in. Do it like that. And there is a little nub on the top or in positive. And it fits down inside the little case on that side. No points up or the positive. And then See a visual difference in anything? <laughs> so this one has a lighter. That's a serial code or whatever. That's uh, that looks like it'd be newer because it's a bigger number. Than that one. So all right. Let's turn that on. Oh yeah. Nice bright light. See what you're doing. Push and hold. Push and hold. Okay. Ah, uh, there we go. Nope. Spoke too soon. Let's go back to regular. Let's see if we can decipher on which which side. Yeah, I guess I'll just wind up keeping this. Uh, it's kind of just the nature of the beast, how it's going to work. And I just got to adjust how I work with it, I guess. So. Alrighty. Well, um, there you go. That's the FLIR VP50. Um, you make your own decisions. Alright, well, y'all comment, rate. We'll talk to you later. Might have another video coming up on this saw. Um, I was thinking about either making a new handle well obviously making a new handle would be one thing but then um, maybe plasma cutting some scene out I don't know exactly what I'd do but ducks or dogs or trees or I don't know something something like that and it'd be ornamental um, or just cleaning this all up making a new handle and giving it to my son so he'll have a nice little saw or, or even me having a little little saw i don't know anyways that's uh that's that flare vp50 y'all comment rate thanks for watching talk to you later see ya